there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> Discovery will make me the biggest man in the world. Pure, distilled, shrinking water. What's it do? 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 It shrinks things. One squirt will shrink a six-foot man down to the size of my thumb. <laughs> yeah, but will it work? Of course it will work. Everything I do works. Think of it. Everyone on Earth will be the size of my thumb. I will be the biggest man in the world. You're gonna put it in a water gun? No, I'm going to put it in a squirting flower. Far more artistic. <laughs> Come, we'll try it out. <laughs> Come along, Fido. Good afternoon, sir. Would you care to sniff my flower? No, I certainly do not want to sniff your flower. Simon says, sniff. <coughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> Take him home, Fido. Put me down, put me down. Okay, Harry, haul away. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Pardon me. Would you care to sniff my flower? What? Are you some kind of character? Can't you see I got my hands full? Beat it! Uh. Simon says, sniff! <laughs> All over the country, people will shrink, and Simon Bar Sinister will be the biggest man in the world. Yeah, but what about you know who? Who? Underdog. I have a plan for him. We'll capture Sweet Polly, and then when Underdog comes to rescue her, sing, he'll shrink until he's no bigger than a hot dog. <laughs> Good morning, Sweet Polly. Care to sniff my flower? Simon Bar Sinister, get away from me with your silly old flower. Simon says, sniff. <laughs> you know me, proud beauty. <coughs> Scream good and loud so Underdog can hear you. Sweet Polly. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> well, he should be here any minute now. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Help! Help! You care to sniff my flower? I have a feeling there is a trick. To rescue Polly, I must be quick. Simon says, sniff. Will the shrinking water shrink, underdog? 
Will he finally be in Simon's power? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear fighting the army blue soldiers galore what can two indians do go 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 first watch them go 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 first watch them go 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 here comes the colonel with his sergeant both are roaring and a charging go 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 first watch them go 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 first watch them go 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 A pleasure to see you, General Eusens. I'm out here on pleasure, Colonel. Washington has sent me with secret plans for capturing the Gopher Indians. My men have set up a special telegraph station right here, 25 miles from this fort. I have 400 soldiers camped there, and I will issue orders for you by telegraph. Bully, bully. With your men on that side of the Gopher camp, and my men on this side, we can catch the Gophers in the middle. A squeeze plan. Exactly. A squeeze plan. <laughs> Me understand. Squeeze plan. They use telegraph. What we do? Ruffle Feather's plot was a simple one. He and Running Board quickly set up their own telegraph station in between the General's camp and the Colonel's fort. <laughs> now we get General's message, but send different message to Colonel. <laughs> Doopy, we have fun. <laughs> Soldier, take this telegram for the colonel. You and your men chase Indians into Gopher Pass. My men will capture them as they come out other end of pass. Mm, a strange order, Sergeant. You and I are to disguise ourselves as Indians and ride through Gopher Pass. The general thinks the Gopher Indians will follow us. But, gee, Colonel, I don't think... Uh... Please, Sergeant. Regulation 234587 requires blind obedience. Come. Ready, Sergeant? Stop! Stop! This is against army regulation. What's the meaning of this? Can't you carry out a simple order? But, uh, General... Uh... Get back to your fort at once and prepare the new orders. And this time, you had better carry them out properly. So, I order you to sneak up to the gopher camp, build a smoking fire nearby, and then retreat. We will then shell the gopher camp with cannon. I order you and the sergeant to ride into the desert, build a smoking fire, and wait for my men to meet you there with surprise. Come along, Sergeant. I see the fire, General. Right. All right, men. Prepare to open fire. Well, here we are, Sergeant. I wonder what surprise the General's men will have for us. I love surprises. <laughs> At noon tomorrow, I will personally take command of my troops on Gopher Mountain. We will attack Indians from that point. You attack from your side. If you do not carry out orders right, you will end up in guardhouse. Have discovered Gopher Indians holding big powwow on Gopher Mountain. Set up dynamite explosion there and explode from fort at noon tomorrow. Bully! A fine plan. Come along, Sergeant. Well, it's three minutes to noon, soldier. This attack should really give those Indians a surprise. Stand ready on that dynamite plunger, Sergeant. This should really give those Indians a surprise. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. General, you! You didn't come poop! Uh-uh. 
you all be sure and be with us for our next adventure. Maybe the colonel and I'll be out of the guardhouse by then. Did I ever tell you about the time I outwitted its entire Secret Service? No, but I read... I was Agent 31416, the most hunted spy in Her Majesty's Secret Service. I had just stolen the record of the Rabelaisian secret code and was making my getaway in my specially equipped Maxwell GT. Naturally, the enemy agents were hot in pursuit. I tried every trick I knew to shake them. Then I used my special banana peel dispenser, and two of them skidded off the road. Then I used my special jack. And the enemy roared through. Quickly, I reversed and got away. However, I still had to be stopped at the border and searched. Good heavens, did they find the record? Oh, no. They searched and searched, but you see, I had cleverly put it on in place of the front wheel. Drove right over the border and all the way back home. All the way home with a record for a front wheel? That's over a thousand miles. Yes, but it was a long playing record, don't you know? Oh, quite. In our last episode, Underdog was squirted with Simon Bar Sinister's newest discovery, shrinking water. <laughs> At last, I have you in my power, Underdog. Into the cage. Now I'm going out and become the biggest man in the world. <laughs> oh, Underdog, what shall we do? I still am strong, as you shall see. I'll bend the bars and set us free. My hero. You stay here, all safe and sound, while I go down and look around. Underdog went to work to set the trap. Flying back to the table, he threw down a large ball of twine. And working as fast as possible, he stretched it several times across the doorway. too slow. I've only shrunk 15 people in the last hour. 
Not very good production. I've got it. My cloud machine. I'll make a big cloud out of shrinking water. Then, when it rains, everybody will shrink. <laughs> Come, Cad. We'll go get the cloud machine. Here they come. Ready? Ready. <laughs> 